Hi, um, I want to show you all how to do the um, solving systems by graphing um, assignment on Delta Math. So you're going to graph these lines like you did in the last assignment. But instead of graphing one line on the graph, you're going to graph two on the same graph. So with this first one, my y-intercept is four. So I'm going to click there. My slope, remember it's a negative one. So I'm going to go down one and over one. And my slope should be negative. It is. My line is leaning backwards. So this slope should be positive. Uh, my y-intercept is a negative 5, so I'm going to click there first. And then my slope is 2, so that's 2 over 1. My rise is 2, my run is 1, so I'm going to go up 2 over 1 and click. Okay, and where these lines intersect, that is my solution. So this, this right here. Um, let's not let this go into right there. Okay, so I'm going over three and up one. So it's a positive three, positive one. That should be my solution. Make sure that you write your ordered pair in a, in a set of parentheses or it will uh, mark it wrong. Let's see if I did it right. Yeah. Okay, I did it right. Let me do one more. Um, so this one, I have a y-intercept of a negative 8, so I'm going to click there first. My slope is a negative 1, so I'm going to go down 1, that's negative, and then over my run is a um, positive 1. But my slope should be negative, and it should be leaning back. Let me do this one. y-intercept is negative 1, my slope is 2 over 5, so my rise is 2, 1, 2, and my run is 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oops, come on, click. All right, here's my solution right here where these lines intersect, and they intersect at a negative 5, and then down, negative 3. So negative 5, negative 3 is my solution. Remember, um, for a system of equations, um, the solution is always an ordered pair. So let's check and see. Yeah, I got that one right, too. I should, right? Okay, so that's uh, pretty much this slope is a positive one, so you know you're going to go up one and then to the right one. This one is, well, let me go ahead and graph them. So my y-intercept is 2. My slope is 1, so I'm going to go up one and over one and click. And I expected a positive slope. This one I expect a negative slope, so it should be leaning back. Uh, so my y-intercept is a negative 5. Okay, and... On this one, I could make my slope is a negative 5 over 2. I can make the 5 negative or I can make the 2 negative. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to make the 5 negative. So I'm going to go down 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then over to the right 2. Now I could have gone up 5 and back 2, and I'd have been right there. Okay, so um, my solution is right here. And that's where x is a negative 2 and y is 0. Let's check. All right. So that's all, y'all.